York called Bethel Green. This time at super middleweight once more, Ryan Cummins, a uh, Londoner, in only his fourth professional fight up against the very experienced Nicky Wadman from Brighton. Shame ahead, Ryan Cummings. To uh, rehabilitate himself after a, a shock defeat to Mark Dawson in Manchester in June 1995. He hasn't fought since then. So, let's fight for 11 months. On his first two pro fights, that was a real setback against Nicky Watman, who's coming back after a, a terrible run. He lost nine in a row, but beaten his last two. long layoff for 11 months particularly after a defeat yeah but there are no real signs of ring rust i mean the, the first couple of jabs that came his way slipped him nicely and banged in a couple of vicious looking left hooks so wadman is a thinking twice and acting once since that little point showing a little bit of care uh, coming's a good sharp start Dawson, a durable pro, but uh, Cummings' camp would have been full of optimism going into that fight. It was a real setback, but as you say, he does not raise a sharp here. I like the way he switches uh, from body to head without letting the left hook, double left hook. Nice, relaxed style he has. Woodman is looking tentative. Wadman has a decent jab, but it's, <laughs> it's a little bit annoying when you throw your best punch and you get clipped with a, a vicious counter punch. It gets you thinking. So I think Wadman's just trying to get his feet up a little bit closer to Cummings before he lets the punches go. He's having trouble doing that so far. He plants himself well for punches, Cummings. himself a little bit open there. First real success for Wadman. A good left hooks to follow. So a better end to the round for him. <laughs> Unmistakably though, that was Ryan Cummings round. An impressive start after such a long layoff. So the two wins. He outpointed Terry Duffus of Gloucester in his debut and then stopped Mark Hale of Bedworth in the sixth round. Promising amateur, won the junior ABA title six years ago. Born in Lancaster, but he was an amateur. He was fighting out of Islington. Nicky Wadman, 30 years old, eight years older than Cummings. He too, a junior ABA title in 1982, some time ago. Not a great pro record, though. Second out, round two. First round to Cummings. Cummings' sharpness is just a slight problem for Wadman at the moment. Uh, he was trying to get himself a little bit closer to Cummings uh, before he was letting punches go. That's a kind of smack of heads there. Yes, and he's got a nasty cut, Wadman, on the forehead. 
They really crashed in together, and that's the end of the fight. That's desperately unlucky. Blood streaming down from his forehead. Well, it was a difficult start for him, but he really didn't deserve that. That's wicked luck for Wadman, but the, there was no point in continuing because the blood was just streaming down from that gash. They just came crashing together. See, Wadman being the taller, uh, any clash of heads, he was going to come off worse, and that really was a, a clash of heads. They really banged together, and as soon as the clash came, the blood started flowing. Do we can see it now, Jim. See, Cummins is smaller down, and strangely, Wadman was the one who was lower at the time of the crash. But that really was a crack of heads then. See, Wadman come in low, bang, you would have thought he would have come off better with that clash. But that didn't happen, and uh, the referee had to stop the fight. So a hollow victory for Ryan Cummings, but he has the advantage of knowing that he was looking good beforehand. But there's no consolation for this fella, just desperately hard luck. Seems philosophical about it now, but it was always going to be a difficult fight, but didn't need that at all. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 44 seconds of the round two. Nicky Wadman having received a cut to the forehead. The referee has stopped the contest. The winner, Ryan Cummings. So back on the winning trail, the young man from Islington. Three wins. Unfortunate loser indeed, please. Nicky Tough on Wadman indeed there. Did we see enough to form a judgment?